Hello and welcome. We are checking out Jake's Pandemic Collection, a fast, solid, and fun Raspberry Pi 4 collection. And uh, yeah, I would agree. It's no frills. It does have little screensavers, though. Check this out. It's got a nice little Neo Geo set of videos for you. Actually, it's actually really relaxing to let these play. But uh, anyways, um, 128 gigabytes, but look what it's packing. It's just got a huge Nintendo 64 collection. It does have a Nintendo DS. Um, it actually has a you know fairly good amount of spread of PSP, PlayStation, um, and where else is a lot of space? Dreamcast, yeah. Dreamcast, 29 games. And a lot of like imports and things that are thrown on here as well. At first when I checked it out, I was like, I was reading online that a bunch of people were downloading this. It was like the number one download for a while. And I was like, why? Like, I didn't even feel like reviewing it. I was like, it doesn't look that cool. And then I realized there was a lack of 128 gigabyte images for Raspberry Pi 4. So maybe some of you out there like just don't like to buy big SD cards or have these big build so I was like okay I can see why some people might want that but really I think what comes down to this image and we're going to see in a second is the choice of games you know it's just a very bare bones cool little I mean it's it's out of the box it's you know it's 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 plenty enough for most people look at 1400 Game Boy games some of these collections he's throwing a ton of imports and like other other games on there so um, it does ask you for controls, you know, it's pretty user friendly when it boots up, but let's go ahead and dive into it. So on first boot, no, not even a splash video intro screen, only one theme installed besides Carbon, which is this one. Um, it is on a recent version of RetroPie and it has all those scripts and things on it. Um, so as far as collections go, it's got a small arcade set, and I believe that the arcade set is even running the Neo Geo, yeah. So a lot of these games are actually just repeats from the Neo Geo collection as well. So the arcade set on here is definitely like, so 145 of these are, 145 of these arcade games are Neo Geo. So it's like 150 arcade set. It does have like some CPS systems on there, it looks like. Um, but not a huge set. And if you notice, no video snaps either. Um, and that's why it's just so fast. Like you can just, you know, scroll, look how fast I'm scrolling around. I'm multitasking like crazy here. Okay, but really, it's it's just very clean and elegant. Amiga running well. Some people said they had some sound issues on it. I didn't have any sound issues. If you do, you can always launch the, um, the, the emulator here and do some messing around with the options there to get that to work but a huge amiga collection for those of you that like amiga that's huge 3400 games really quick his favorites though there's some a lot of favorite games in here some ones to check out some of the especially the you know the imported games so i googled this guy's name and it goes by i play with an idiot is the group or i play for the idiot something like that it was a group so they are italian so speaking of italian the um, Scum VM games are all going to be in Italian or, or another language. So that's kind of a wash for a lot of the U.S. people um, that, you know, they're going to be speaking different languages. But not a huge um, deal as there's only 10 games in there anyways. But what I was saying was um, they he's part of a group called I Play With The Idiot. Yeah. Um, so you will have have that uh, in there. A talk, wow. Oh, okay, a lot of two pack. I was like, how is there so many? Oh, okay, a lot of demos. Demos. It's an int weird collection to have all this. So a little unnecessary in my mind, but uh, wow, if you want like every single 2600 ever made, there you go. So tw <laughs> you got twenty over 2600 Atari 2600 games. Um, it does have Atari 5200, 127 games. Atari Lynx 86, Commodore 64, 344, Coleco 240, pretty much most of them. Dreamcast, so here's your 20, your 29 games, but you're going to see, I think there's some imported games in here as well. Okay, not on these. Oh, and see, some of these are, do these are the different CDs. These are just the four different CD files. So it looks like there's three, four, four duplicates in here. So there's actually only 25 Dreamcast games. Uh, family System. Family Disk System, 238, 386 Game Gear, Game Boy, 1400. And again, there's got to be, yeah, see, there's different versions in here, like a U.S. version. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so different regions of these 
games are in here and uh, i play i play like the japanese contra later and you know some of the games do have um you know some different levels and things in them so they're kind of cool to, to play around with game boy advance 171 so saving a lot of space right here not throwing all thousand games on there master system 238 Se uh, mega drive also known as genesis and again he's throwing in like the europe version and the you know the u.s version so that's why i say like it's kind of a diverse rom set in that regard that a lot of people i think might dig msx 662 nintendo 64 415 like there's some games on here the thing about these games though is like i i'll open them and i have no idea how to get past the first few screens you know <laughs> Because they're like, do you want, do you have a, you know, it's like, oh, your Rumble Pack's installed, yes, no. And I'm like, well, which one's yes, which one? So you have to, you know, uh, you do need to get past those screens. Nintendo DS, you got 11 games on here. You know, pretty much the the must-haves, the Castlevanias, the Marios, and the Pokemons, and the Zelda. Neo Geo, pretty much all that set there. Nintendo, only 227, but there's some cool games on here. Like I said, like the two different Contras. You get both the Japanese version and the U.S. version. Pretty cool. Uh, PC Engine 394. That's a pretty big PC Engine set right there. Oh, it's like, oh, okay, I'm not sure if that's safe for, safe for work or not. Okay, again, don't. <laughs> uh, ports, you do have a easy uh, access to your desktop if you run them on Pixel desktop. PSP, you got 11 games. They're running pretty good on the Pi 4. 49 PlayStation games and a really eclectic choice of games here, I have to say. I think a lot of you are going to like it. A lot of these games I really like. So, uh, there's a duplicate here, though. A couple duplicates, actually. About five because uh, of their different CDs. So, more like 45 games. You get RetroPie set up. As you see, no crazy scripts or anything installed. Scum VM, I showed you that earlier. They are going to be in a different language. 32X, all of them. Sega CD, you only have... Uh, four games. S N E S again. Um, kind of weird that you know the most. It looks like mostly the U S ROM set. Like you have Bob on here. Pretty sure they're all U. It's just some of the ROM sets. Maybe they don't say U S on them. Whoa, the oversteer is real. Nice. So what are my controls here? Okay, so I got kick. Okay, so that is gas. She drifts, that's cool. Whoa, I found a secret, whoa! Got through the skeletons. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this game's awesome. I only got 56%. Is that enough? Oh, somebody got more than me, huh? Let's try next the next level. Collect all the bonuses in a single try. Collecting bonuses unlocks rewards. So it doesn't really matter about the bonuses. It matters how much mercury I lose. I mean, it's kind of interesting that we're using mercury here as it's 
pretty deadly for human consumption. So, oh. I feel like that was kind of a version of yellow. Oh, it tells you there at the top. There's a little cheat, so it's between green and red. There's yellow. Oh, you gotta go really slow, I guess. That's pretty good, right? Not yellow enough, huh? What if I do that now? I took a totally green blob. Yeah! And a bonus, but we lost half our mercury. Oh, maybe we have to get it gray. Ooh, we have to get the thing gray. Losing more and more and more. All right, here we go. We got red already. Now we got yellow. Now we got green. And then we got red. And then we got blue and purple. Oh, it worked. It took five hours, but we made it. Oh, nice. We had sound mode. Gotta love that music. Oh, he yeah, had the 3D levels. That's awesome. Oh, shit.
All right, so final remarks. Um, a minus, B plus. I mean, it's not going to be an image that I personally am using all the time, but I did have fun, fun with it. I thought the ROM set was very diverse. It is very quick, very snappy. Um, I like the screensavers. Um, and for 128, there's just packing a lot of stuff. Like, I don't think I'd be, it's just, it's really eclectic and it's kind of all over the place. It's like, a, it scratches the itch in a bunch of different areas. So I could see why a lot of people are into it. And then it's 128, so you could put it on a 256 and then now you got 128 gigabytes worth of empty space to throw in all these games that you have to have on your own image. So it's a good starter image for that point, but it's also for somebody who wants to check out some stuff they probably haven't seen in a while, especially if you're in the US market, this is gonna kind of, you know, uh, expand your horizons you know, as far as gameplay and things like that. All the emulators I tried were working. As I mentioned, the I looked through all the comments and everything to see if people were having issues. And a lot of the issues, there's Amiga, no sound. If that's the case, I'd just go into the Ami Berry uh, emulator and change that. Arcade set, I think there's some shaders on. You can just go hit your hotkey plus X, go into the retro arc menu, and you can change your shaders at any time. Um, all the other emulators were working really well. You can always install more yourself. Um, so overall, it's it's decent. Um, there are some duplicate games, as you saw, and then there's no bezels or anything else. It's really straight to the point. If it was my image, I'd probably add like a little splash screen video. I would add a couple more themes. I would probably add the bezel project and you know get some bezels on there. Eh, I don't know the bezels. Eh, I'm kind of 50/50 on, but um, you know, other than that, you know, I I wouldn't hesitate to you know rock an image like this. Um, like I said, it's unconventional and it's a pandemic uh, thing. And, you know, meaning we're all, a lot of us, not all, but a lot of us are shelter in place and uh, what not better time to play around, you know, and get, grab one of these. So I can see it uh, for, for those reasons, but uh, that's what I think. Let me know y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.